However, a recent visit to NC Soft to look at their latest release, City of Heroes, made us put aside our fears of life-sucking addiction and embrace the world of the MMO. I think that City of Heroes has taken an incredible step forward by breaking the genre types that we've seen in the past. There was so much excitement about the fact that we had strayed away a little bit from all the fantasy MMOs into this new superhero genre. City of Heroes allows you to create the superhero of your dreams and fight the good fight in the mystical city of Paragon. Choosing your own superpowers, you can form groups of superheroes or just fight the hordes of wrongdoers solo. The game has already been a huge hit in the States where it spent four months at the top of the PC charts. The uh, reaction of, um, from people to a superhero game has been just fantastic and I think the, the MMO genre has been needing something like that for a long time. MMO games are renowned for their addictive gameplay, and with gamers playing 24-7, NCSoft have to maintain a huge team to run the persistent world from day to day. It used to be where we thought we were going to spend less money per year on an online game than during development. And we're quickly realizing that, no, it's actually the opposite, that you're going to have more people, you're going to spend more money after you release in the maintenance and updating and support of the product. It's a living, breathing, constantly involving environment, and it constantly needs new material and new content funneled into it so that the players continue to have a good time and have new and exciting things to do. The persistent environment exists for one reason, to bring game players together. Really, you know, the way you retain them is by connecting them to each other and giving them, you know, the tools to do that and build social structures because what keeps people in these games is other people. And we're really providing an avenue for people to, to meet each other and form these bonds. But with that comes extra responsibility. We can check just about anything, you know, what a person has said, what they've done, and if we find out that uh, they have indeed done something wrong, we can stop them from playing for a short amount of time or we can just ban their account completely. It's almost like we're a mini miniature government uh, where we have to maintain law and order, you know, we're the peacekeeper. Players will have harder trouble keeping the peace in their virtual world with the forthcoming release of the much anticipated expansion pack, City of Villains. Proving that NCSoft is speeding past the opposition when it comes to MMOs.